In a remote town in northern Mexico, a 10-year-old boy is struggling with his homework. Oscar Castellanos is getting extra help from his father because he's having trouble adjusting to his new school. When you left, you were in what, fourth grade? Third grade. The fifth grader is technically a foreigner in his father's land. He was born in Arizona and is a U.S. citizen. Do you know the Pledge of Allegiance? Yeah, can you, can you say it for me in front of the camera? I pledge allegiance to the flag and to the United States of America. His family moved back to Mexico after Arizona approved the toughest immigration law in the United States. Has it been difficult for you to be here in Mexico? Kind of. Why? Because I have to speak a lo another language. Oscar's six-year-old sister Angie also is an American citizen. De las tiendas. She says she misses American stores, bigger houses, and parks. Their parents, Oscar and Maria Castellanos, lived in Arizona for 13 years as undocumented immigrants. We would feel persecuted and harassed. We felt bad. It was nerve-wracking, especially when we had to go out to go to work. It was difficult because we had everything there. We had to leave everything behind and return to Mexico. It was difficult. Castellano says they endured years of living in fear in the U.S. Public sentiment was growing against undocumented Mexicans, so shortly after the strict Arizona immigration law passed in 2010, they moved back to Mexico. According to the Pew Hispanic Center, net migration from Mexico to the United States fell to zero or less from 2005 to 2010. This means the number of immigrants coming into the country is likely equal or smaller than the number of those leaving, although the study said some left the U.S. unwillingly. They were deported. Back in Mexico, Angie Castellano sings her ABCs in English. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, K, N, P. She has yet to learn them in Spanish. The Castellanos family is among the fortunate ones. Oscar was able to find a job only a few months after returning here to his hometown in northern Mexico. Maria is managing a restaurant and both kids are enrolled in school. Maria has been helping Angie with her Spanish while Oscar teaches his son math. Both parents say they try not to think about what might have been, while the children frequently seem to miss the life they had across the border. Rafael Romo, CNN. By the dawn's early light. Northern Mexico. What's so proudly we hail?